At the White House today, President Obama said exactly what this room full of scientists has long waited to hear. We will lift the ban on federal funding for promising embryonic stem cell research. Stem cells can be morphed into any cell in the body. Scientists believe by turning them into cells damaged by injury or disease, they can treat, even cure, conditions ranging from diabetes to paralysis. To regenerate a severed spinal cord and lift someone from a wheelchair. To spur insulin production and spare a child from a lifetime of needles. The new executive order reverses restrictions on embryonic stem cell funding ordered nearly eight years ago by President Bush, who said it was unethical to destroy human embryos to do medical research. On Capitol Hill today, anti-abortion activists condemned Mr. Obama's decision. Human embryo destroying stem cell research is not only unethical, unworkable, and unreliable, it is now demonstrably unnecessary. Unnecessary, he says, because other types of stem cells that don't require destroying embryos are also effective. But advocates of embryonic stem cell research say those cells hold the most scientific promise, and the embryos, they say, are left over from fertility clinics and would be destroyed anyway. Today's announcement does not lift all restrictions on embryonic stem cell research. Congress passed a law about a dozen years ago that's still in effect that says federal researchers cannot create embryos for the purpose of destroying them. There's already a battle brewing on Capitol Hill over whether to change that. Katie? Chip Reed at the White House tonight. Thank you, Chip.